Greetings and salutations, humanoids. William Kirk here with Reverb, and today we're gonna get into the synth sounds of Phil Collins' most revered piece in the air tonight. And we're gonna feature some cool toys, the Prophet 5, and the CR78. So let's jump right on it, shall we? So with Phil Collins in the air tonight, it's safe to say it doesn't matter if you're five years old or if you're 50, you've heard this song. And it is all started because of this. So here we have the Roland CompuRhythm CR78. Phil Collins in the air tonight features a preset using disco number two. We canceled out the snare drum so that we don't have that pesky snare drum in the way. So in order to get that authentic sound from the recording using the CR78, we were able to use some EQ and some compression from the Waves V series, as well as an imager from the Isotope app. And guess what? Ain't nobody got time to get no tape machine. So we throw up the tape plug in and there you go. This song was released in the early 80s. Um, and during that period, you had the end of disco, and it's kind of ironic that Phil Collins used the disco number two pattern to make this song as monumental as it's been. So it's sort of symbolic, you know, the end of one thing, the beginning of a new thing. Prophet, relatively new board at the time, you know, it came out and made an instant impact on pop music. So the construction of the sound itself stems from a Prophet 5 pad. Obviously the pad likens to a soft brass. So we have the Prophet 5 vintage synthesizer, but we also have the luxury of using the Arturia V series, which has the same sound. And we've been able to pull up the same sound using chorus and delay to adjust the sound quality. done the drums, we've done the keyboards, and we cannot talk about this song without the treatment that is done on his vocals. So what is it? Gated, gated reverb. reverb. That's right. As you can hear, the gated reverb has a quality that stops abruptly. So it's not like conventional reverb where it continues after the sound is produced. So it almost produces a delay type of effect as well. So I'm gonna demonstrate some Phil Collins vocal style with the rest of the accompaniment. Get that drum beat. And there you have it, In The Air Tonight, done right. And if you wanna check out more songs like this, broken down in this fashion, let us know what songs you got in mind in the comments below. You can check out the Apleton and Logic sessions of this song on Reverb. And 
it. See you next time, y'all.